Guys, I'm back with a new episode. This is a fall fragrance episode. This is a special episode actually because of what's inside this box right here. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna go straight for the unboxing. I might as well call this a first impression because it has been a lot of years since I have smelled this fragrance, this one right here. Now since I suck at unboxings, because last time I did it I almost cut my fingers, I got the help of my little friend right here. So let's see how I do this. Oh yeah, nice and easy. I hope I won't I won't cut the fragrance inside. I almost cut my fingers like I've said. Come on. Okay, okay. I'm getting better at it, right? Dum -da -da -dum. <clears throat> so Drum rolls, dum 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 dum. Now this is this is some good packing right here. I can always appreciate it. Let's take this out. Okay. Now what's inside? What's inside? There it is, guys. This is the first ever M7 to, to, to have been released to the public. This is a little piece of um, history. I'm really, really glad I found this one and I'm, I'm really happy that I have it in my collection. So, Let me savor the moment. This is a 50 ml. I didn't find the 100 ml from 2002, but this one will do just fine. You can see how um, the um, the cellophane is is wearing fatigue signs. It's been so old. This is actually like a like an old bottle of wine that's just waiting to be unboxed. So, let me do the honors. I cannot wait to smell this one. It's been a lot of years since I since I sniffed it. I never owned it actually. You see, the first ever edition didn't really have much info on the box. Yves Saint Laurent M7 Eau de Toilette 1.6 fluid ounces 50 ml. You got the barcode on the left side. This is where the folding of the cellophane was. On this side there is nothing, at the top nothing. You only have a few ingredients, alcohol, water, perfume and benzophenone. At the bottom you have the batch code. This is 2284. See it right here, 2284. This is the moment. This is the moment of the truth. Yeah. The first one, the first edition. The second one had a, a transparent back from what I remember. 
I can already see this is a fingerprint magnet, you see? Fingerprints all over. Yeah, so let me go for one spray. Come on, come on. Oh man, did you see that? Oh wait. Oh my god. Okay, so this is actually my god. This really takes me to to what a fragrance should be. This is the essence. Not many fragrances are of this magnitude. If you remember the the promotion for the M7, it was a, a naked model. And I can see where this is coming from because there's a... I cannot remember the notes exactly, but I do get some citrus on top. There's musk, obviously. Some oud in there as well. This is just, just masculine. Uber masculine. I don't know who... Some people say that this actually has a cough syrup vibe. Cherry cough syrup, but I just don't get it. I don't. This is for fragrances. What the Concord was for planes. What Ferrari F40 was for cars, what Hulk Hogan was for wrestling. This is just a monumental piece right here. Yeah, this is excellent, excellent. Monumental fragrance. Let me, let me have some, I will put it in there. And I will give you a rundown on these other fragrances that I'm displaying. This is the one to have. I, I could have waited longer to find the 100 ml, but... Oh my god! Yeah. This is unbelievable. But it seems that the fragrances that go towards that masculine territory don't give you as many compliments as the other fragrances do. Just like La Nuit de L'Homme. Just like Diorum Intense. Just like Dolce & Gabbana The One. Whew. My, my god, this one really, really stunned me. <clears throat> this was the, the star of the show. For this episode, I will be back as soon as I can. I will try to, to post the video for Spice Bomb versus Men in Black. I did film this one outside with some zooming, some panning. Really, really nice video. I will try to post it <clears throat> as soon as I can after I will finish editing the audio. The initial video had 15 minutes, but I um, I took it down for eight minutes and a half, something like this. So these right here are the fragrances that I will use and I have already used this fall. I'm not entirely sure if I will do another um, fall fragrances episode. I think I will go straight for the, the winter fragrances series. I have some really, really nice fragrances there. Until next time. Thank you very much for watching the video and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.